Zachary and William Zulock have committed a heinous act. And I mean heinous. Welcome back, Conservative Lion here. Uh, just wanted to touch on a story that seems to be popping up all over the place. Um, this is a story out of the state of Georgia where I'm located. And uh, the story is actually an older story. The, the incident, um, well, it came to a head last year. They got arrested back in August of 2022. But for some reason, it's recirculating. I guess there's a push to get this out there. But a white gay couple, uh, a married couple, William and Zachary Zulock, out of Walton County, Georgia. For those of you that don't know, Walton County is kind of an Atlanta exurb. It's it's right next to Gwinnett County, which is our second biggest county in the state. And it's, you know, more of a bedroom community. But um, nonetheless, um, these two pictured men, um, they adopted two young boys. I can't remember how old the young boys are or were at the time of the incident. But um, over, you know, I think a couple of years or so, who knows how long it's been going on. Uh, these two monsters um, were creating child porn. Uh, they were sodomizing these young men, these young boys, I'm sorry. Um, they were even alleged to have prostituted them out to other uh, male pedophiles. So they do have um, child porn. Uh, in police custody, I don't know who tipped off the police, but uh, but according to the reports, the Walton County uh, law enforcement raided the home uh, this past August, and one of the men was taken out of the home butt naked. Um, there was even a post made by one of these men uh, that they were about to f their uh, son or whatever. Um, they were allegedly um, bragging about having sex with, with these kids. And, of course, they're keeping the identity of these two young boys withheld for their privacy and their protection. But this is the sum of all fears that a lot of people have when it comes to gay adoption. This was a married couple. And... Um, me personally, I'm a very conservative individual. I believe that marriage should only be between a man and a woman. I believe that children should only be able to be, to be raised by a man and a woman. I don't believe in gay adoption. Not because I don't like gay people, but I just believe in order. And the natural order of things is one man, one woman, one child, or children. It takes a man and a woman to make children, so therefore it should take a man and a woman to raise children. Of course, the gay community sees it a different way. Oh, well, what about all the heterosexual couples that abuse their kids? And that does happen. You do have uh, way more kids being harmed by straight couples versus gay couples. But that's only because gay couples can't naturally make babies. And we all know that no matter what they tell you, gays do not reproduce, not on their own. There has to be a contact between a sperm and an egg. That's the only way for now. But anyway... I just wanted to bring some light to this uh, situation with it being close to home. I live in the metro Atlanta area. Uh, I don't live near Walton County, but um, this is a very conservative county. It's a very red county, about 40 miles to the northeast of Atlanta. And may maybe between 30 and 35 miles, maybe not quite 40 miles, but it's, it's a good little haul from downtown Atlanta. It's definitely not Atlanta at all. It's it's the far suburban part of the metro uh part, most of the county is actually still rural uh, a, a sizable city out there exists called loganville georgia but um yeah this is this is the sum of all fears that that people that push back against uh lgbt adoptions have always you know feared would happen i know that all gay couples don't molest ch children but this isn't a good look this is a lot of charges i mean sodomy Aggravated sodomy against a child, that should be an instant 30, 40 year sentence in my opinion. Uh, prostituting your children out, you're your sex trafficking your own children, your adopted children. Um, 
cruelty to children, child endangerment, you name it. There's all kind of charges to get these guys life in prison. And in my opinion, this is a case that wouldn't uh, I, I wouldn't rule out the death penalty in a case like this. That's this is an egregious act. And, I, and it, th this probably took place over uh, several months or even years. I don't know, because oftentimes these these kids are, are just funneled through the system and they, they and, and it is hard to adopt here in Georgia. I'm not saying that the, the adoption agency in Georgia is uh, culpable here, but they don't follow up on the welfare of these kids like they should or like they could. I know resources are limited, but still, I, I think that overall, we, we, we just don't need to have gay adoption, period. That'll be one less issue to worry about. And, and, and we can focus on making sure these kids get into homes with heterosexual couples that are um, stable and loving and, 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 you know, all that sort of stuff. But uh, this is just a... a, a, a clear sign that our society is broken and we didn't hear a major uh report on this by the mainstream media this should have made national headlines but it didn't so whoever is driving the the push to get this out here salute to them i saw it on the daily mail and a couple of other uh conservative uh websites it's even made some global newspapers i saw it in uh, a New Zealand newspaper online, a Turkish newspaper online, a Pakistani newspaper online. So the story is getting out there, which is good. But um, in this country, I believe that we're too soft on certain types of crimes. And it only emboldens the people to continue to do these type of crimes. If we were harsher on these type of criminals, they wouldn't have the balls to commit such heinous acts. That's, that's beyond uh, pedophilia. That's just evil. Not only were y'all raping these children, you were pimping them out to other men. That's disgusting. That's demonic. Yeah, I, I, these these guys deserve to be castrated. They deserve to be put to death. They deserve all that. Because these kids that they hurt will never, ever, 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 ever be the same again. Ever. But that's the story, folks. Thanks for listening. Um, hopefully, uh, justice will be served swiftly. And they will get maximum punishment for their crimes. I doubt if they will apply uh, anything as, as, as harsh as the death penalty for a case like this, even though it's warranted. But they can end up with life in prison, which would be appropriate. And y'all know how uh, pedophiles and child abusers are treated in prison. So they're going to get what they deserve one way or another.